I'm going to be talking about how to wet vent a toilet. And so in this case, our toilet is going to be right here in this corner. And the problem is that I could not have a dry vent going up through this wall because this wall is load bearing. Um, and so I can't do a traditional um, dry vent going up vertically from there. So what I did instead is I made it so that my sink is going to share its dry vent section with the toilet and so to be upc code compliant um, you have to stick to two inch pipe which is what we have here but by doing that i have been able to uh, basically have my dry vents going up through a furring wall this is a non low bearing wall um, and i haven't needed to touch any of the uh, header right here because otherwise it would get a lot uglier so Stay tuned and we'll look at how this looks under the house. There is the toilet uh, coming down. That's the four inch pipe all the way back there. And then the way this works is as the fluid is coming down or pipe, it meets up with this guy right here, which is a uh, Y with a long sweep uh, fitting on it. And so basically the air that's needed comes from right here. So this vent is the wet vent because it's serving uh, the fluid coming down from the uh, sink. And um, this guy goes up and we already saw what it looks like above, but that is how it works. And then we have another Y here to uh, get our three inch uh, and tie it into the rest of our stack. So that is how wet venting works. Um, the alternative, like what we're doing for the shower, is if you see the P-trap for the shower comes out to here and then the shower has its own dedicated dry vent going vertically up. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching and be well.